Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hello, everybody. Welcome to HR Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, brother HR. Glory to God, I feel the anointing on me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Turn with me to the book of Job, chapter 11, verse 13. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. If you would direct your heart right and spread out your hand to him, God, if iniquity is in your hand, put it far away and do not let wickedness dwell in your tents. Then indeed, you can lift up your face without moral defect. You don't have to feel bad when you go before the Lord if you laid everything at the altar. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why we boldly come before the throne of grace, making our petition known that we may find help. In time of trouble, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. You know, the Bible said in the book of Psalms, I believe Psalms chapter 1, ain't it, Lord? Thank you, Holy Ghost. It says, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wicked men. So what is the content of your tent? Thank you, Holy Ghost. What is the content of your tent today? Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible says that a man named Achan got to Achan. Why? Because there was hidden tents. There was hidden things in the tent of his life. And not just his physical life, but his spiritual life. And it got him caught. Friend, be sure your sins will find you out. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord Jesus. Lord, before I continue on with this message, hide me behind the cross. I bless you, Holy Ghost. Let it be none of me, but all of you. Let me decrease that you may increase, Father God. Let you rise up and me sit down, Father. Speak through these lips of clay. Let the word of God go forward with truth, clarity, and understanding. Anoint me now to preach Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' name to your people, Father God. In Jesus' name, bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Like I said earlier, welcome to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour full revival. I'm your brother in the Lord. I love you, Holy Ghost. Brother HR, hallelujah, Jesus. Today is a good day. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I didn't know what I was going to preach. I said, God, thank you, Holy Ghost. Whatever you want me to preach, let it fall open to the Word in the Word of God. Because this book is alive. You read it. No, you don't read it. Let me correct that. It reads you. This book knows you. God knows you because He loves you. He made you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. You know, people say, oh, the unconditional love of God. You want to bet? Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's a condition. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's a condition. You say you love God, keep his commandments. That's easy. But it shows that there's a condition to follow Jesus. To follow him, we must deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow him, but not totally giving up everything we are. God wants us to keep our gifts and talents and use them for his glory. He don't want you to get rid of what he gave you. Honey, to get to God goes without repentance. And I didn't even know I was going to preach on that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. What's in your tent, friend? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord for this word of God from heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible said that Paul was a tent maker at one point. Why? So he had to have a job. But what are you doing in the tent of your heart? What is hidden that will not be revealed? Anything hid will be revealed, friend. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Your sins will find you out. If there's anything in the tent of your heart when God comes into your tent, like he did in the Old Testament, and friends, he's the God of the Old Testament, the God of the New, Jesus Christ is still God of the Old, Jehovah God. He will go into your tent, bless your Holy Ghost, and he'll come in and he will... Check out what you've been doing. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. He ain't a scary God to fear if you love him and know him personally. But if you fear the Lord to the point that you cannot serve him, you've got the wrong fear of God. For the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. It's the beginning of learning to love the Lord. The fear is not afraid of the next step you make. He'll strike you dead. That is not the right fear to have of God. You need to have a reverence of that you fear grieving his presence. You don't want to lose God. So you don't want to grieve God. You, you don't want to offend the Holy Ghost because, friends, God is not the leaving kind. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. But have you left God? If you left God at the altar of your heart, you need to go back and find him. He's right there. Bless you, Holy Ghost. But God will not deal with man forever. He will not continually 
deal with man forever. I don't know why I'm preaching this, but somebody needs to hear this message today. Thank you, Holy Ghost, or God wouldn't have gave it to me. I've heard so many preachers write to me and call me up and say, Preacher, do not preach on sin. That's the problem the church has got today. That's why so much hell's in the church, because there's not no preaching against sin. But God's gave me a heavenly backbone as long as there's breath in my body and fire in my bones. I'm going to preach against sin. If you don't like it, cut me off. Do away with me on Facebook. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. As long as God put it, put it in my heart to preach the truth, I'll die preaching the truth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. But what's in the intent of your heart? People need to see your heart. When, why did Doubting Thomas stop doubting? Because he saw the love of God. When God showed him the wounds and said, put your hands in my wrist and in my side. To actually put his hands in the side of Jesus, he had to lift up his robe and show him his side. So literally, he saw the stripes Jesus bore upon his back, upon his legs, the stripes. He bled on his legs and his feet for us to walk out a new walk with him. He bled on his back to carry the weight of our sin, to carry it off, to to NASA, to lift it off of us. He wanted to lift off that yoke of bondage, that though his, our, where his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. You don't understand what I'm saying yet, do you, friend? God loves you so much. And he wants to come in and clean out your tent today. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right now, just like at the old tabernacle, God is standing at the tent door of your heart saying, let me come into the house of glory. Let me come in and dine with you. I'm sitting there at the door of the tent of your heart waiting for a personal invitation. God gave us one to accept Jesus. Now he's given us one, waiting on us to give him one to come in to him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He said, all can come into me, but not only does he want us to go into him, he wants to come into us. He wants a relationship, a fellowship so divine from heaven that hell, nor death, nor angels, nor demons can separate us from the love of God. But notice it says, nothing on heaven or earth can separate me from the love of God. But it never said we couldn't separate ourselves from God's love. How about rejecting the cross? You're separating yourself from the love of Jesus. Bless your Holy Ghost the love of the Lord Jesus. God died to give you life. God died in flesh, wrapped himself in flesh, and came and dwelt among us. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. He came to give us peace and love and everlasting joy. But thank you, Father, for your everlasting joy. Thank you for your peace divine. Thank you for your peace of mind. Bless your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you that you're right on time, oh my Lord. Yeah, you're right on time. Bless your Holy Ghost. You give us a peace of mind. Yes, you're right on time, oh Lord. Forgiveness is your mercy. Forgiveness and your mercy are reaching out today. Your love is never failing, and you're passing by our way. Well, Lord, we accept you. Lord, we're reaching out today. Just like blind Bartimaeus, do not pass us by this day. Oh, Lord, as we're reaching out our hands, Come and clean out our tents that you may live within, that there may be recompense in Jesus' name. I bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know why. I just started writing that in the Spirit right there. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. And you would be steadfast and not fear Verse 16, For if you forget your trouble as waters that have passed by you would remember it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, the loving Lord Jesus. God wants to give you so much peace that he just washes your troubles away, friend. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I bless you, Lord Jesus. That's Job 
For if you would forget your trouble as waters that have passed by, you would remember it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. He don't want you to be in sorrow and in trouble. He wants it to just wash on down the river. But, friend, you've got to be willing to put your house on the rock and let the rest just wash on down. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. What are you storing up for your life, friend? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Is there a dirty secret in your tent? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What is in your tent tonight? Is is there immorality in your tent? Is there drunkenness in your tent? Is, is there something? Is there drug addict drugs in your tent? Is there is there a dirty thought in your tent? Is there a, is there a curse word in your tent? What is in your tent that you need to clean out? Well, what's in your tent that you don't think God can come in? If you lay it down, God will just let, God will put it under the blood and remember it against you no more forever. And he'll say this, go and sin no more. Here's the thing. I've heard preachers say blasphemously that even though God said go and sin no more, he, that, that, that person continued to sin. He know that. My friend, that's dangerous to preach that kind of message. My God, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Do you understand what I'm saying? God said, go and sin no more. He's empowered you by His Spirit, bless the Lord, to do it. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do not say that God cannot do it. Bless the Holy Ghost. God through you can do it. These preachers who say God God knows you're a human, go on and sin like you want to sin and go to heaven, they have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. Them kind of preachers are going to bust hell wide open. Wow, the ground just shook. They're dynamiting right up the road. <laughs> I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That would have been something to catch the rapture right on camcorder. That would have been fun. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. You would be brighter than noonday. Darkness would be like the morning. Then you would trust because there is hope. And you would look around and rest securely. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Once you get whatever's blocking you from God out of the way, you will see clearly now. The pain will be gone. You can see all obstacles in your way. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, God wants to bless you out of yourself. Where if he blesses you out of yourself, you can be new in Christ. He said... If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. He wants to give you new. Get rid of the you and get into the new. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. And I'm just, I'm just preaching the word of God as the Lord gives it to me. If you don't like what I'm preaching, that means you've got a problem with Jesus because I'm preaching from the Holy Ghost. I had no idea what I was going to preach today. I got it in about three minutes before I walked down here. I said, oh, my God, that's it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your word. God's word remains true to the end of time. When everything else fails, his word will still remain alive. His word will still be true no matter how bad you feel about it or good. His word will still be true. No matter how bad you feel about life, he loves you. That's the truth. And he came to die for you and rise again that you might have the life and life everlasting and abundantly. How can you have abundant life if you're still bound by the old you? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Let the old man die and God man rise up in you. I love you, Holy Ghost. Bless this message, Lord. And bless all that's watching it. Bless the Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I'm almost done. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Your life will be brighter than noonday. Darkness will be like the morning. Then you will trust because there is hope. And you will look around and rest securely. You will lie down and no one will disturb you. And many will entreat will entreat your favor. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Many people will be blessing for your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. So many people need to understand this. Somebody else is blessed not because of their own life, but because of your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If your life was not there, like like Jimmy Stewart said, he wished he'd never been born and God allowed him to see everything in life that would have happened, bless the Holy Ghost, if he had not been born. 
sin, he prayed, oh, God in heaven, forgive me. I want to live. I want my life back that you gave me. It was not a horrible life. It was a wonderful life. And that is what God is showing you today. If you'll surrender yourself fully to his capable hand, lay down who you used to be and pick up who God is. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. You can live in God. You can live free. You can live in an open heaven. You can live for heaven. Heaven can live in and through you. The Bible said in the first book of John, uh, in John, I'm sorry, in John chapter 1, I believe it is, or chapter 2, he said, you will see angels ascending and descending, working through the Messiah by the Holy Ghost. Jesus, Jesus through the Holy Ghost was doing miracles and wonders and signs, but the angels were bringing it to him. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. God is working in you, through you, around you, loving in, loving, love up, love in, love out. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Every heavy burden is broken, I hear the Lord say. Every chain of bondage is broken. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Get on my shot and I bless you, Holy Ghost. You will lie down and no one will disturb you. Many will entreat your favor. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Job said it in the book of Job where we're reading from. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord Jesus. He said that the Bible says that Job was told by God that he said, on behalf of Job, I'll listen to your prayers. Not yours, is what he said. To the people that told him to curse God and die, I bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is an awesome word. He said, because of Job, I'll forgive you if he forgives you. If he don't, you're in trouble. I won't forgive you. But it's Job who I listen to because you have sinned. And he said, I'll listen to the prayers of Job, but I won't listen to you. Now, the only kind of prayer for those who are backslid, for those who are away from God, he don't hear them when they pray, except if they're praying a prayer of repentance. That's in your Bibles, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. That he said that he hears the repentive prayer of those who are backslid. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. He says, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Whose land is it? It's not the wicked. Well, the ways of the wicked is laid up. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the ways of the righteous. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord Jesus. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. But how many of us today are dwelling in the tents of wickedness because we don't think God's got nothing better for us to do? We are sitting there, oh, Lord, if you just blessed me. Well, I guess I ain't never going to be blessed. If you keep talking like that, you'll never get blessed. He said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What you're sowing in your spirits, what you're going to reap in your flesh. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. He said, if you sow sparingly, you'll reap sparingly. If you give bountifully, you'll reap bountifully. Bless the Holy Ghost and love you, Lord Jesus. And that ain't just talking financially. That is talking spiritually. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Let a man joyfully consider what to give in his heart. What are you giving to God as an offering of sacrifice of praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord Jesus. If you're saying all the time, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, guess what? You're going to die sick. You say by his stripes I am healed. I curse that condition. I command the bones to line up. I command this to happen. Bless the Holy Ghost. It's going to happen because you're sowing into the Spirit something worth a harvest. Bless the Holy Ghost. I hope somebody's getting blessed today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. And many will entreat your favor. But the eyes of the wicked will fail. And there will be no escape for them. And their hope is to breathe their last. What does that mean? People are trying to look for hope in the grave. I've been there before. Oh, Lord, just kill me now. I can't take it. Oh, God. We're living like the wicked. We're praying like the wicked when we're praying like that. We are to live our life happy. Even though there's trouble in our life, consider it all joy. That means you're going to go through trouble, but consider it. 
stop a minute, shut the mouth, think about what you're praying, and say, my God, he wants me to live and not die. He's giving me life and life more abundantly. I can have everything my heart desires as long as I put God first. Matthew 6, 33. Let's go there now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Oh, shedabosa. Hallelujah. Shake up the broken pieces. And God will make them brand new. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hey, God, I love you, Holy Ghost. Bless and love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 6, 33. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and love the Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. As I go to the 31, do not worry about the things you will say, what will you eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear for clothing. For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things, the sinners. Those who don't know God seek these things. But your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. It ain't just something you want. It's something you need. I need clothes. God, I just trust in you in Jesus' name that you provide me with the clothes. I know that you said that you own a cattle on a thousand hills. God, I need some money. And I'm just believing you, God, for the money you're going to send because I'm I am going through a spot, and Father, I believe your word that you are not broke, so I am not broke because we are one in you. I am one with you, so you are not broke, so I am not broke. So, Father, thank you for what I cannot see manifesting into what I can. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For Matthew 6, 33, here it is. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness. Whose righteousness? The kingdom of heaven's righteousness. The Holy Spirit. Seek ye first the Spirit of God and all his righteousness. All these things will then be added unto you. You're a son of salvation. A child of the light. You're not a shadow sibling, friend. You are a child of light and not of darkness. We have the light of God on our side. We are sons and daughters, heirs of salvation, heaven's descendants. We can have whatsoever we shall ask because we know it's God's will to give us all good things that we need. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I bless and love you, Lord. Hallelujah. I didn't even know I was going to preach it. I tell you, thank you, Holy Ghost. Love you, Lord Jesus. So don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Thank you, Holy Ghost, verse 34. Now, how do we know that God wants to give us anything we need, truly need, not just want but need? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. When we're praying from a want, we're sometimes praying amiss because we're not praying from the need that we need. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He said, let no man give of a need. Let no man give to God based on a need, but let him give from the heart. Let him give because he loves God. Now, again, I'm not talking about money. That's a part of it because money answers all things, Ecclesiastes says. But I'm saying this. If you think I'm preaching about money, you missed the whole message. Just cut me off now if you think I'm preaching about money because I'm not. God provides everything we need is what I'm saying you need a financial blessing, God will provide it. If you need healing in your body, God will provide it. If you need deliverance, God will provide it. Whatever you need is already provided because of Jesus Christ. We have heaven at our disposal when we're living holy for Jesus, when there's nothing in the tents of our heart between us and God. And you can say, Jesus, walk on in. And he walks in and sees you have a need. He'll say, this needs to be put over in there in this corner. He actually calls the angels in and has them work. Says, this needs to be put over here. My, my daughter in the Lord needs this over here. She needs a healing. So God, Father in heaven, give her the miracle. Jesus is God in flesh. Father, give her the miracle. Daily make an intercession for us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
uh, Father, this over here is brother so-and-so. He needs a healing. He needs a miracle. He needs a financial increase. Father, for him, give it here. For, for this little sister who's busted up in her life, who's on drugs, give her this miracle, Father. Put this miracle over here in this corner for her. He starts filling the tent of your heart with himself. If you have evicted the devil today, if you never evicted the devil, we're going to give you a chance to evict him. God will evict him for you. He'll even send angels to throw in the summons and say, devil, you've evicted. We've already got a, a trespass, warrant, trespass warrant for your arrest, devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God's going to throw the devil out on his feet. <laughs> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. This is a good word today. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Here it is. This is it. I bless you, Holy Ghost. If you got anything between you and God today that you need healing for, deliverance from, He's come to do it based upon His own living Word. He's come to set you free and give you life and life more abundantly. Bless the Holy Ghost. Right now, He's come to do it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Keep praying for my throat, people. It is getting better. Thank you, Holy Ghost, because by His strength, I am healed. Bless the Holy Ghost. Oh, I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you'd like to be delivered, first, if you'd like to be saved, I bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father God, for everybody in my family and the Lord that's watching. Everybody needs a touch from heaven. God, I bless them, Holy Ghost. Thank you for putting everybody that's in my life that's watching this video. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost, right now we curse every devil of addiction. Right now, Father God, I was going to pray for salvation for every somebody needs to hear this prayer for the deliverance of an addiction. God, I curse every devil of addiction. We break it and bind its power. In Jesus' name, we cast it off. We curse it at the root. Command it to be bound into outer darkness and never find its way back. I bless you, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Go free in Jesus' name by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, if you need healing... Right now, Father God, we just thank you for creative miracles, supernatural miracles. I ain't done. I had not forgot the altar call. God just told me to go in a different order today. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. God, I curse every devil of sickness. I break its power off of them. I bind it to the pit of hell. I call them healed. They will live and not die in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, we cast every devil out, and we command creative miracles from the throne room of heaven. If in the body part room in heaven, Father God, we come before you making our petition known, and we call it done. We call it done. We command healing, total creative miracles. Fire fall upon them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, and love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now if you're not saved or you're backslidden, you've been watching this message, and you know God's dealt with you, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want you to pray with me right now. Bless you, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I repent of my sins. I repent. I ask you to forgive me. I believe that Jesus died on the cross, that God raised Jesus from the dead. Wash me. Mer Hallelujah. Cleanse me. Make me new. Come into my heart and be my very best friend. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hey, bless your Holy Ghost. Somebody watching this, I don't know if your name is Murphy or not, but there's a, a Murphy or somebody like that. God's saying it's not too late to turn around from the road you're heading. There was a decision you was about to make, and God says, Stop, don't make that decision. Go back the other way that you was originally intending to go, because if you don't, it'll lead you down the wrong road for sure. There is something heading down that road that you're heading. I don't know who you are, Murphy, whoever you are. You're watching. Your name starts with an M, and I'm hearing Murph. So Murphy, don't 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 feel discouraged. Just go back the way God originally intended for you to do. Because it's, I don't know who you are, but God just told me to tell you that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Write to me. I'd love to pray for you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you for saving everybody, Lord Jesus. Washing them, cleansing them, filling them with the Holy Ghost that they might, they might make heaven their home. Bless you, Holy Ghost. No weapon formed against any of you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you shall be cut down and condemned. 
For this is the heir, the promise to the heirs of salvation. Bless the Holy Ghost. Now, Father, hallelujah, those who have never been baptized, oh, I feel the anointing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. Those who have never been baptized in the fire of God, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Speaking in other tongues, I don't know what I pray. That you would break every bondage off of their life. Every bondage of doubt, we thank you, Father, for releasing the tongues of fire. For you are the baptizer in Holy Ghost and fire. In Jesus' name. Fire, 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 fire in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost, the loving Lord Jesus. Somebody's been having an issue in their back. It's a slip disc in the middle of the back. God's healing that slip disc right now. There's a creative miracle for that slip disc. God is healing. He's recreating disc all in people's backs. There's a new eye for somebody. You've been having eye trouble in your right eye. God is healing that right eye right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And somebody's been having symptoms of a stroke, what would have been a stroke. We curse it by the blood of Jesus. You have been healed in the name of Jesus right now. God is even, now I'm not being sick, I'm just saying what God is telling me to say. A man is receiving a new prostate. God is healing a man's prostate right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody, wow, this is awesome. I'm not making this stuff up. God tells me what to say, and I'm saying it. Someone with lady problems, God is healing you, and you will not have that issue rise again. We curse it in the name, in the name of Jesus, and we command it to go by the blood of the Lamb. Devil, we cast you out. And binds you in outer darkness and never to rise again. You are healed. Creative miracle. Go back to your doctor. They're going to tell you that you've been healed of that lady trouble. God has healed you. Somebody had a cyst in their body. God's removing that cancer right now. It was cancer, but it ain't no more. God removed it. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You're healed. Go fill for that cyst. It's gone. The fire of God done touched it. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, if you've been touched today, if you've been saved, if you've been mightily transformed, bless the Holy Ghost. Write to me and let me know what God did for you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you with all my heart. See you there in the next meeting or in the air. God bless. I love you.